It's Thursday, December 20th. What is going on, YouTube? Oak LMG here. And I wanted to make a updated video on my previous video, which have been getting a lot of feedback and comments on about how to get your mouse and keyboard mouse and keyboard <laughs> working with your Xbox one. Um, and I wanted to answer some of the questions that people had in terms of that. So to start it off, um, I will be adding a compatibility list in the description below to show you which games will be working with mouse and keyboard on your Xbox one, of course. And also to answer some of the questions that also I've been getting about other games, how developers are going about supporting these certain games and what Microsoft is doing in terms of um, working with these developers and whatnot. So to start it off, um, the first question I, would, I was getting was, my mouse is not working. My mouse is not working. Um, your mouse is not going to work off tops. I am plugged in right now. As you can see, my mouse is lit up. It is not working right now. But that is because the mouse will not act as a cursor for your Xbox as a main device. Stop listening. Stop listening. <laughs> I hate when that happens. All right. But your keyboard will work. As you can see, as I'm using the arrow keys, it's navigating through the menu. You can only use your keyboard to navigate through the menu. That's all it will be used for. So as if you hit your Windows key, it obviously opens up your guide. And just to show you I'm not using any trickery here, you guys can see my gamer tag popping up as I talk. Xbox, go to Fortnite. And as you can see, when I open up Fortnite, it says press A to start. But now, as soon as I touch my mouse, and I'm going to do this in real time, as soon as I touch my mouse, now it says click to start. Instantly, it registered my keyboard and mouse as the input device for Fortnite. And you can see there, the cursor is right there. I'll click to log in. Now for the next question. I'm getting a bunch of input lag on my mouse. Now, to answer that question, um, I have no idea why that's happening for certain mouse and keyboard um, users, or actually uh, certain mouse users. Um, I've used a number of Logitech mouses, um, even older ones like that one, um, even just cheaper off-brand like this Habit um mouse and i haven't had any issues with that oh, look i'm getting free items all right so as you can see mouse and keyboard oh look i just keep inviting my homie <laughs> Probably got like 100 invites. I'm just kidding. But um, anyways, so the mouse and keyboard will not work with certain games like Call of Duty, Rainbow Six. It is only supported by what Microsoft is letting the developers choose to do. And let me let me rephrase that. Microsoft is letting the developers, the game developers, choose whether or not to add mouse and keyboard support. Again, <laughs> Microsoft 
is letting the developers choose whether keyboard and mouse support will be working with certain games on the Xbox. And reason behind this is so that people don't have an advantage in certain lobbies. So like Fortnite's platform, what they did is, as you can see, it says cross platform right there because I am registered as a mouse and keyboard user. Turn on my controller right here. And now you see, when I touch my controller, no longer cross-platform. I'm on the North America West as a controller user, as an Xbox user. So here, let me give you an example of how this works. So again, let me just start up a match. It says cross-platform, correct? Now, when you're joining a game, and you enter a game match, it will put you in a lobby with cross-platform players, meaning those players are using the same input device that you are, whether it may be mouse and keyboard or a controller, but you will see that up top in the left bar, your health bars um, with squads. Um, here, I'm going to let this game load up. And as you can see, I'm playing with two PC players. Right there. Again. I'm on my Xbox One. You can see my gamer tag. Oops, actually, am I still in that party? <clears throat> yeah. You can see my gamer tag pop up. So, and there you go. You can see my key bindings as well. I pop that up. So, again, it's working. It's not, it's not no bullshit. It's not a lie. This is, this actually works. This actually works. Um, I personally don't get any latency issues. As you can see, I'm completely fine. Um, as for, again, certain, those certain users that are having those input, um, input lag issues with certain mouse and keyboard. Um, I do not know why that occurs, but I know Microsoft is aware of the problem and is working on a fix for it. Um, excuse me. Let's leave this match here. I'm not so. Okay. Now. So for the next question uh, I'm always getting is why is my mouse working in Microsoft Edge, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is something that is up to developers and only for game developers. Microsoft is not prioritizing mouse and keyboard support. Um, I, hope, I hope to see like Microsoft Edge get mouse support eventually in the future. That way we can just use our Xbox as a normal browser in a sense. But for right now, that does not look like it's gonna be happening. So I hope this video just made just an aspect of things a little bit clearer than they were. Um, you do not need to go through those certain methods in order to actually get keyboard and mouse to work with your Xbox. Oh, I, and I forgot one more thing. People always ask me, how do I plug in my mouse and keyboard to my Xbox? 
just plug it in. USBs in the back, USB in the front. I used up all my USB ports on my Xbox, so I'm just using a cheap, a really cheap uh, GigaWare USB hub for four additional USB ports. That is not an adapter, dude. So for those who are thinking that's an adapter and you need this in order to make your mouse and keyboard work with your Xbox, no. That is not true. That is just a hub. And it's just purely a hub just to add more USBs to your Xbox. That's all it is. Just so just to get that cleared up. But again, I hope this video helped you guys. Um and I hope it made it a lot clearer for you guys to understand that, you know, only certain games are working. And so far, you know, hopefully in, in the future, we, we see more game developers add support, you know. Um, especially, I would love to see, you know, Call of Duty, for example, with mouse and keyboard support. Shoot, I'd, I would be playing probably Call of Duty over Fortnite. Um, if that were the case. <laughs> um, so if, you know, any Call of Duty game developers are seeing this video right now. Yo. Hook it up, bro. You know. <laughs> Your boy wants mouse and keyboard support for Call of Duty. <laughs> but with that being said, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't do this often at all. But if you guys want to see more content, I'm new to this whole YouTube platform thing. Just let me know down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. You know, I'm doing my best here. I'm trying to get um, back to everybody's comments and uh, questions as best as I can um, in, in a timely uh, manner. So... Again, with that being said, enjoy the rest of you guys' day. You know, get me on Epic Games. My uh, gamer tag is truly, T-R-U-L-E-Y-Y. Epic Games, the same thing. Um, follow me on Instagram at O-O-A-K-L-M-G. And I hope to, you know, be playing with you guys or seeing you guys online. All right. Have a good one. Peace.